It is a beautiful sunny day here in Northern Ohio, and I am so excited to head on to Dollar Tree. I am in search for a wreath form. This is the round green foam ones. I'm sure you've seen these. I'm going to show you what I do with it. I'm going to remove the sticker, of course, and then I am going to give it one pretty heavy coat of Rust-Oleum Milk Paint in the Highland Blue. All right, one coat was sufficient, let it dry, and is fully covered. All right, so now we are going to use this ribbon. I found this at Hobby Lobby months ago, with, and it was on sale. It was on clearance, and so I'm just going to use it. It's kind of stretchy. I just wanted something white. So if you're going to recreate something like this, just try to find a ribbon that is white, or you can also tape and paint as you need. So I'm just going to cut several pieces, and I'm going to wrap it around, creating a nice, even design all around the wreath form. I am going to make sure that I am placing one and then directly across placing the other one. This is going to give me a nice even separation between the white ribbon. Again, if you're going to paint, just use the same technique with the tape. We're just about done with these. And now I'm going to grab one of these anchors. You can find these at Dollar Tree during the summer season. Look how gorgeous it is. And it is pretty large. I'm going to remove the jute string from this one that it came with. It's more like a rope. And I'm going to replace it with the longer one. This is just jute rope from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to tie it very loosely on top. And then I'm kind of just going to wrap it around almost like it tangled up underneath the ocean. I just want it to have a very natural look. I'm going to hot glue it here and there cut where I need it because we are going to hot glue and secure the anchor to the actual wreath form so I want it to be flush on the back so any rope that is behind it I'm just going to cut just like you see here and then hot glue and tuck as needed. And that's it for this one I gotta tell you such an easy DIY craft perfect for summer what a beautiful color combination so inexpensive and so easy. I want to know what you think of this one. For this next DIY craft, I'm going to take another one of those foam wreath forms. And this time we're going to wrap it around with some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. This is the white kind. And then we're going to alternate from the white one to the natural tone one. I'm going to do seven loops around. And then I'm going to go on to the jute rope and I'm going to keep alternating until the entire wreath form is covered. Here's the thing. If you've ever wrapped anything around anything circular like this, you know that the inside circumference is smaller than the outside. So eventually some of those strands, some of those uh, rope strands are going to like kind of like overlap each other. So if you see that, it's okay. I'm not looking for perfection. I just want it to be covered and look nice and pretty. As I continued to wrap around, I noticed that I did not have enough rope. Oh. <laughs> I had way more of the natural jute tone than the white one. So I have a gap, but it's okay because we're going to cover it anyways. So it worked out. All right, I'm going to grab another one of those blue anchors from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to leave the jute rope on this one. I'm going to hot glue it pretty heavily and place it right where that area is. Then we're going to take some of these greenery. I have these on hand. My mother-in-law gifted them to me for Christmas. So I'm just going to use what I have, but use what you have. Use any florals, use any greenery you have. I'm just going to cut them in smaller uh, picks and just hot glue them behind the anchor here and there until I kind of like what I see. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I always have those links down below in the description box. So make sure you check them out when you are done watching. All right, so I hot glued the rope to the front. That way it's gonna stay put. And then I'm gonna add some seashells. These are from Dollar Tree. Just gonna add three of them here and there to add some pop of color and just a little bit more character with a beachy look. And look how cute this one looks. I gotta say, I think the first one is still my favorite, but this one, definitely tons of character. Let me know. For 
the next DIY craft, we are going to take these hooks. These nautical hooks are so beautiful. I grabbed three of them. One is the shape of a whale, one's a mermaid, and the other one is another anchor. Look how cute these are. They come with a little hook already for hanging, but I'm not going to use those, so we're going to remove that. And then we're going to tape the little actual hook portion of it because I want it to stay in this natural wood tone. For two of them, the mermaid and the whale, I'm going to paint in that beautiful Highland Blue by Rust-Oleum Milk Paint. And then the anchor is going to be white. Now you can put these directly on the wall and it'll be fine, but I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna take three of these wood planks. You can also find these at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna sand them down just smooth because it does have kind of like a rough touch to it. After I sanded them down, I am gonna wipe them really well and then I am going to paint them. So I have two blue hooks and one white one. So I am going to paint one blue block and then two white ones so they contrast each other. My friends, if you would love to stay up to date with current uploads as well as any new and upcoming things on my channel, I would love for you to join my email list. That link is down below in the description box, so make sure you check it out when you're done watching. All right, so we are going to paint again two of them white, one of them blue, and of course we're going to let them dry. Now I do want these to have a distressed look. You can skip this part. If you do not like a distressed look, by all means, skip it. But I do want it to have a very beachy look. So I'm gonna distress focusing on the edges and I'm also going to distress the hooks. I'm going to wipe them really, really well and then I am going to add a hook to the back of each board. This is so that we can hang it. And I'm just gonna use the ones that you hammer in and I'm gonna do one on the top of each. And then it's time to seal everything. I'm gonna spray everything with a top coat by Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is just so that it stays nice and neat. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the hooks. Once they were dry, it's time to attach them. So again, the blue hooks are gonna go on the white boards. I'm gonna use a combination of wood glue as well as brad nails. All right, so you do see the little brad nails. So I'm just gonna cover them up with a little bit of paint, nothing fancy. Once it dries, I'll spray it again with the top coat so everything is nice and seamless. That way you don't see it. Look how cute these look. I think these will look great either outdoors or even indoors and even a nursery. Wouldn't that be very cute? I love the way these turned out. For the next DIY craft, I'm going to take this E-A-T that I found at the thrift store. Now you can spell eat or you can spell the word T or the word eight, <laughs> whatever you want. I'm going to spell the word E because I want to place it in my kitchen. I'm going to paint the E white and then half the A white and then the T and half the A in that beautiful Highland blue. And I'm just gonna do two coats. Now I am going to blend the center so that it has a nice kind of like blended ombre look because I am going to place these vertically on one of my walls in my kitchen. For the second coat, I did move on to my chalk paint brush because I have found that it's so much easier to blend the colors using these brushes, they're thick. And I do have these in my Amazon store, which is always linked down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out when you are done watching. All right, so I'm adding the second coat on the T as well as the A, and this is when I'm gonna start blending. And I'm gonna put it into real time here. So you kind of see how I'm blending it. I'm gonna go back and forth from the white and the green, sorry, the white and the blue, back and forth, ensuring that it blends nicely. So there you have it. I said again, I left it in real time so you can see that it was doesn't take too much time. You just want to be patient until it blends. All right, so this is the wall. I'm going to remove a couple of screws that were already there and I'm just going to give it a good clean just to remove some of the <laughs> smudges. 
<laughs> from dirty hands i'm going to place the e of course on top and then i'm going to place a couple new screws and then place the a and the t and i think it turned out so adorable i love it in my kitchen it has this very summery bright feel to it it's perfect for the wall i can't wait to keep it there until fall comes let me know what you think let me know what you think of all of them which one is your favorite i'd love to know let me know down in the comments and i have another video here for you to watch tons more of idolatry inspiration for you to check out have a blessed day i'll see you later bye